In this video, we're going to learn about using app.map to create branches in a pipeline. So far in our pipeline, we have one direction pipeline. For example, this pipeline consists of four different middleware components. The request is routed from middleware number one all the way to middleware number four and then returns back. So this is one direction. Uh, but sometimes we need to create branches from the pipeline. For example, at the place where middleware number two is, if certain conditions is matched, then instead of going to middleware number two, we might need to go to a different branch. For example, if I call this middleware, middleware component number five, and then I call the next one, middleware component number six, then when certain condition is met, the request need to be root to middleware component number five. And number six is the terminal middleware and it returns back to number five and then it returns back to number one and all the way back to Castro server. So you can see that this is a different branch. If you consider this one as a branch, then this is another branch, right? So we have two branches. And the feature of this type of branch is that the second branch never rejoin to the main branch, right? Because the request goes from middleware, number one to number five to number six, and then goes back to number five, goes back to number one, and then goes back to the Castro server eventually. It will be forwarded back to the browser right it never goes from number six to number two it doesn't rejoin the main branch here so this is when we use app.map in fact there are two methods to do this in this video we're going to talk about app.map so let's jump into Visual Studio try to create such branch in the pipeline okay so this is the project that we worked with in the past video and if we were to create a branch at the place where middleware number two is we can create it before middleware number two because if certain condition is met we don't want the request to be forwarded to the rest of the middleware components we want to branch out right here that's why you want to add it before the second middleware here well here we're using run because we're using run so middleware number three is never going to be reached so let's change this back first of all to make this a entire complete middleware pipeline from number one to number three so let's change this and we're gonna add next over here and let's copy this and paste it over here and change this to number two change this to number two so now we have a complete middleware pipeline from middleware number one, two, to three, and, and then returns back to two, to one. Okay, now we want to create a branch from middleware number two. In other words, we want to skip middleware number two. So what do we do? We use app.map. And then this one, you can see that it takes a root pattern here. And the root pattern has different a way to be provided you can basically provide just a string in the very simplest form right so for example if i go to slash employees then we want to route the request to a complete different branch and we can create that branch right here so you can see that this is not a request delegate anymore right this is an action whose parameter is application builder so therefore we are going to say app builder and then we are going to create a branch of the pipeline right inside this delegate here right so you, we can say app builder dot and then you can use the use method to create a middleware component you can use the run method to create a middleware component so let's try to use the use method to create a middleware component and because we're using use we can just copy and paste so let me copy this and paste it right here and of course we're going to change this to number five and this one to number five as well and if we were to create another component inside this new branch i'm going to just copy and paste this and we're going to call this number six and this is number six as well so now you notice that we created a new branch of the pipeline which consists of two different middleware components and they will be called one after another because we use the use method to create the middleware component and this new branch will only be reached when the URL of the HTTP request goes to 
slash employees, or at least starts with this, then it will be routed to this new pipeline. And the rest of the components in the main pipeline will be skipped. So let's give it a try and see whether that works as I mentioned. Let's run the application. All right. So this is the application because I didn't go to employees because default is the root path, right? The root path goes to uses the main branch. So we're going to from one to two to three and it returns all the way back. So this is the main branch. What if we go to slash employees and we can see that we're going to number one and then immediately branched to number five. And then it calls the next middleware component function here. So which is number six. And then it finishes calling number six and goes back to number five, goes back to number one. And now we see everything in the browser. So you can see that we completely skipped number three and number four, which are in the main branch. What if I add something, one, 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 for example, I hit enter and you can see that now it goes to the main branch. And what if I do employee slash position, let's say, now you can see that it uses the new branch of the pipeline instead of the main branch. That's why I'm saying that the map method, it matches any valid path that starts with slash employees, but it doesn't include the cases where you have this type of path. As long as if you finish the path with employees and then add another section or segment like this, or you can add as many as you want. It's going to still map to slash employees, and then you're going to use the new branch. And that's everything I want to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.